Hello, welcome to Yin Yang Tarot. My name's Becky and I'm here to do a reading on the 24th of September. So this is for anyone that's dealing with a lawsuit today. <laughs> it's got, uh, on the 24th of September, it's got lawsuit spread. So this is the spread I'm going to do today. So if you're thinking, ah, oh, I need to get something sorted, something was unjust, um, as they call it. It is a necessity to look to tarot cards, obviously. So, um, you know, don't mind lawyers. No, no, don't, don't worry about them. Worry about this tarot reading. No, on a serious note, uh, this might be able to guide you in a way forward of knowing um, where it is that you need to go forward towards this situation you have. Um, I think some people may need a bit of confirmation um, who this reading is for. So I'm just going to roll the dice and make sure that we've got the number 12. Let me double check the board. We have this one here, which is, let me double, Libra. Oh my word. Justice Scales and Libra. <laughs> so it might be a Libra who desperately needs to know about the lawsuit spread. And we also have this little symbol here, which is to do with... I don't know. It looks like Uranus. Or... Oh, it's Neptune. Neptune we associate with Pisces energy. Uh, it's... a. Uh, the dreaming card, the card of dreams. So obviously there's something you're worried about which is affecting your sleep. That's affecting your dream state. You might be having bad dreams about it. Um, and I like the way the fact that it's about Libra, which is interesting that I rolled the dice. Um, the number 12, uh, it could be a birth date. It could be a date that something happened on the 12th. Um, it could mean anything to you, whoever's watching this. So, first card out, we have the number one. And is there any way to avoid this lawsuit if <laughs> you've got the Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> so that's quite funny. Um, no, <laughs> it's fated. If the Wheel of Fortune is all about fated, um, turning the wheel in your favour. Um, this is talking about how things are out of our control <clears throat> and sometimes we've just got to go through the motion. <laughs> this reading is uncanny. I'm loving this. Okay, so card number two, what is the nature of this case? Oh, wow. So it could be dealing with injustice when it comes to children because the pages we associate with people who are young, um, naive, immature, um, whichever, how you look at it. Um this is a little girl with a cup with a fish in the cup. So it's a little girl that likes fishes. So maybe something in just happened in the past um, involving this person. Um, it's all to do with innocent, um, innocent versions of, uh, it's like a, a thank you, I miss you, I love you. The innocence of a child saying, um uh yeah hello um i really love you i i like you that kind of thing it's all to do with innocence here i think someone's innocence maybe oh okay oh we got the nine of cups in reverse this is what is the nature of the case so i'll put number one where it's supposed to go on this and this is where the number two is going and the number three is here and this is saying, how can I establish a good work? It oh. <laughs> is there a way to avoid a lawsuit? What is the nature of the case? How can I establish a good working relationship with my attorney? And it's the nine of cups and it's reversed. You need to tell them that you're not coping. You're not coping with the situation. You don't have all your ducks in a row. There is an, an issue with how you are feeling, how you are not. Um, it's be 
uh, expressive as you possibly can about how badly you feel about the situation with the nine of cups um uh, know your feelings how are you not coping how are you not and it's being honest with this person this person is trying to help you if you are dealing with a lawyer or an attorney anyone in that way um if it's just someone to represent you um not everyone can afford lawyers um or whatever reason um but it's a case of saying you need to express how much this has affected you Okay, card number four. How do I keep my emotions in check? Ah, funny. <laughs> it's like talking about your uh, emotions as a third person, isn't it? Sort of. This is how I. This is how I've been coping. Um, and the one you've got is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is all about emotion. Card number four. Um, she's able to manifest what she needs from the emotions that she has so she can not manipulate because manipulators as in the sense of I manipulate to get what I want but this isn't to be that selfish person this is this is a justifiable situation this is a situation where this is what has effectively what what's happened to me and how I feel how my mental health has been affected by this blah 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 OK, so you have the Queen of Cups so they're talking about going with the feels of the motion, but um, being able to keep them in check. Now, this lady here, if you look at her, she's in like a shell seat here. She's drinking her. I hope it's not wine because wine is not good when you're feeling emotional. She she's looking in the cup. She's looking in the cup for answers. There is no answers in the cup, <laughs> okay? The answers are outside the cup, in the outside of the world. She's at the beach. There's a big association with this deck, with uh, the sea. Um, maybe a trip to the seaside will help you get some clarification. Maybe you're happiest by the sea, or you live, or it happened at the sea. Um, but there's definitely an association here. Okay, so card number five. This is what is what is in my favour. So what is in my favour? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. So it's come up reversed. Is the nine of swords in reverse? What's in your favour is that this has really has affected you in so much in, in such a way that that's your favour of the situation. You are completely beaten up. There's anxiety, there's sleepless nights. There's something here that really is... Um, I, the thing is, what I always find about these these things that happen to us, say something, some injustice happens and we have to fight it because the other person is not either owning up or there's no evidence or whichever is your situation. The anxiety itself stops you from wanting to fight it and that in itself is exhausting. The whole process is exhausting um, and I think what happens is that people kind of close off and they close off from the whole thing. They hate the world, it's not fair, um, but they can't have the end, they don't have the energy to fight and that's the sad truth I'm afraid. And with card number six next to it, which is what is not in my favour, we have the Queen of Pentacles. But she, not the Queen, the Nine of Pentacles, which is funny because we've got two nines. So this is talking about um, reviewing of the situation before it's completed. So the task will be completed, but you need to review and when they're reversed, you haven't been able to review. You're, indepe you're independent, you're financially independent. And that's what's not in your favour. Interesting. So they're kind of saying, well, it's not a financial thing, it's an emotional thing. That's not in your favour. Oh, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, 
but yeah that unfortunately real life scenario um money is a major factor and if you weren't affected financially there's not much ca that can be done financially um it's one of these things isn't it it's <coughs> excuse me yeah that's all i've got from that uh what card are we on next seven what helps me become victorious so fighter fighter of justice well done you, you oh you got the ten of pentacles awesome what helps me become victorious? Your friends, your family, your inheritance, your grandparents, your parents, the people around you, the, the house that you live in, the house that you will have. Um, this is what you are going to be victorious in. You're going to have the happily ever after here, after what you've been through or um it's it's like this amazing like happy families type situation and it's amazing i love that card that's good that's good news and eight the ultimate outcome we have one more card the ultimate outcome is oh the hanged man <laughs> i love this lessons learned lessons learned don't hang around on what you need to do it's um you got there's a few here so the final outcome is you have experience you've worked together you've learned a life lesson um you've got the four of pentacles not to stay and stick to what you sort of know um release old stagnant energy here with the four of swords in reverse um yeah <sighs> wow the ultimate outcome of this, if you want to see it as a big karmic lesson, as we call it, a massive one in some people's lives that affect them for a very long time, um, is that you have released all this stagnant energy around it, this fear that's been stopping you from going forward. With the Three of Pentacles, you're able to move forward now with other people as a team um, and work together to collaborate what you want from life. With the Hanged Man, it's kind of saying, you know what? Yeah, the, the purgatory has happened. Whoever it is, the outcome of this is the person who did this um, is now in hanging in purgatory and they will receive what is due to them. And uh, that's the end of it. <laughs> Story told. OK. Oh, there we go. I like that one. Yeah. So this is about justice. I like that. The justice spread. Brilliant. Um. So 24th of September, I said I was going to do these daily. I never do them daily. I'm so sorry if you think I'm one of these people that are proactive in that way. I'm not. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you. And uh, if you see the next one, I'll be there for you too. Bye.